Everything is becoming more advanced, and technology is progressing to the point where even countries like London entirely rely on it. These countries don't even have any paper-based government functions, while some countries plan to build even taller structures in smart cities. Even so, the world, including Kuala Lumpur, is evolving. Kuala Lumpur will be expecting a major landmark as they will transform a 20-year-old abandoned place into something spectacular. If you want to find out, make sure to watch till the end of the video. Hello and welcome to Building the Future. We are going to talk about how Kuala Lumpur makes some insane changes no other country could have made. But before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe to our channel, Building the Future, and hit the notification bell for more amazing videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get started on today's video. One of the best known cities for skyscrapers is Kuala Lumpur. Its majestic twin towers once served as the city's symbol as the world's highest structures. The twin towers were overtaken by Taipei in 2004. Still, they never seemed as isolated as Taipei because the city already had many skyscrapers built at the time, even though only a few were taller than 300 meters. Kuala Lumpur has had an ongoing boom in skyscraper construction since about 2010. Buildings taller than 300 meters are frequently the subject of new super tall tower proposals. Some have already been constructed, others are in the process of being finished, and yet others are being planned for construction in the upcoming years or the near future. We made a list of Kuala Lumpur's highest skyscrapers that are planned or under development, so be sure to watch the entire video. Under Construction Buildings Fairmont Kuala Lumpur More money goes into luxury skyscrapers, with an estimated cost of more than $22 billion. The Fairmont Kuala Lumpur is under construction and will become the tallest skyscraper in the future. The Fairmont Kuala Lumpur project, which will be located close to the Petronas Towers, east of Surya Kala CC, and south of Four Seasons Place, includes Fairmont Kuala Lumpur Tower 1. The complex was created by Cesar Pelli. It comprises a sizable podium and two towers that rise to heights of almost 400 meters. Tower 1 houses a hotel and residences, and Tower 2 places an office building. The hotel in Tower 1 will be Malaysia's first Fairmont Hotel. In the future, the podium will be used for a shopping center, much like the Petronas Towers, and will be even bigger than Surya KLCC in the net lettable area for the retail space of 2 million square feet. In a venture with KD Asia Pacific, a division of Qatari Dyer Real Estate Investment Company, a subsidiary of the Qatar Investment Authority, which is the investment arm of Qatar, Petronas subsidiary KLCCH is building the project. Oxley Tower 1 The mixed-use Oxley Towers development includes Oxley Tower 1. It's being built near the Twin Towers in the city center along Jalan Ampang. The complex was created by Veritas Design Group. This insane building consists of a 78-story Sofitel Hotel. 49-story Jumeirah Hotel consists of residences and a 29-story office tower. The boulevard is a two-story retail podium that connects the three skyscrapers. This is the link between the other two towers. Three towers are connected in the sky by decks that hover between them. It offers elevated public spaces. The So Sofitel Hotel will have 207 hotel rooms and 590 residential units. The Jumeirah Hotel has 181 hotel rooms and 267 residential units. The two hotels should be finished in 2023. M101 Skywheel This iconic-looking structure is a part of the Kampong Baru City Center Complex, which is situated approximately a kilometer north of the Petronas Towers. The two twin towers that make up the building were also created by the Veritas Design Group. They are modeled after the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. The building's most recognizable feature is the Ferris wheel atop the Sky Bridge, with a height of 220 meters marks the highest vantage point. An HD LED screen measuring 60 meters long stretches over the front of the Ferris wheel. 
Although the LED screen can show a lot of things, a giant clock is frequently seen on the building's designs. Along with the Sky Ferris wheel, the structure will house either the first Sky Retail Mall or the highest mall in the world. With more than 200,000 square feet of retail space, it will be located directly beneath the Ferris wheel on levels 48 to 52 of the structure. Kempinski Hotel and Residences this tower, often referred to as Conley Tower, it is one of three towers that make up the Conley Complex. It's more than 300 meters tall. This immense complex is situated in the middle of the line that connects Patronus Towers with Exchange 106 at Jalan Conley. It is located southeast of Patronus Towers, between the Golden Triangle and the KLCC region. The three-tower project was created by RSP, a renowned Malaysian architecture firm best known for constructing world's second tallest structure, Merkita, and is being built by Malaysian real estate developer KSK Land. Kempinski are made up of two residential buildings known as Tower A and Tower B. Watch the video to the end to learn about the proposed buildings that make Kuala Lumpur rise above any other city. Proposed Buildings Tradewind Square Tower A a 24-story office building, a hotel and residence skyscraper, and a mega-tall office tower are all part of the Tradewind Square complex, which is now under construction. Tower A is the tallest of these structures. It looks like this is going to be the most expensive tower in the world. Tower A was initially intended to be 608 meters tall when the project was first proposed in 2011. Its altitude was later increased to 775 meters. This is more than two and a half times the Eiffel Tower. If constructed, the skyscraper will surpass all others by roof height. Without the spire, not even the Burj Khalifa and Jeddah Tower will reach full size. The project site is at Jalan Sultan Ismailan just 600 meters south of the Patronus Towers. The locations were previously occupied by the Crown Plaza Mutiara Hotel and Complex Antarabangsa. These are two 21-story office buildings. The Crown Plaza Mutiara Hotel once occupied the locations. To make room for future skyscrapers, the two buildings were destroyed. However, the project stalled and the location is currently vacant. Tower M. The owner of the twin buildings, KLCC Holdings, suggested a new highest skyscraper called Tower M to regain that distinction because Menara is anticipated to be finished in 2022. This will displace the Patronus Towers as Malaysia's tallest structure. The estimated cost of this tower is $10.230 billion. The brand new tower being considered will reportedly have 145 stories and reach a phenomenal height of 700 meters. It will be located in the Kuala Lumpur city center neighborhood, east of the Fairmont Kuala Lumpur Towers and immediately south of the Azsiakaran Mosque. Tower M will dwarf the Twin Towers even though it will be less than half a kilometer from the Patronus Towers. The foundation is now being prepared but construction on the tower won't begin for a while because KLCC Holdings is not a speculative developer and will only proceed with construction until pre-negotiated leases for the entire building have been secured. According to estimates, the tower won't be constructed before 2030 due to market speculation. Plaza Reykjavik With an estimated cost of more than $2 billion, a mixed-use building called Plaza Reykjavik is situated on a triangle-shaped plot of land close to Bukit Bintang that faces Jalan Pudu and Jalan Robertson. A commercial center, a 46-story residential tower, a 24-story hotel, and a 79-story office skyscraper with 382 meters were all scheduled to be included in the development. Skidmore Owings and Merrill were responsible for creating the complex of buildings. Construction on the development started in 1994, but it ran into difficulties in 1998 due to the 1997 Asian financial crisis, and only the complex's base was finished. It has been vacant for more than 20 years. The initial agreement between the project's developer, Plaza Reykjavik, 
and the Federal Territories and Urban Wellbeing Ministry was canceled in 2010. Following that, many other businesses attempted to resuscitate the project and statements of its rebirth were made periodically over the following few years. However, nothing ever materialized as a result and the project continued to remain abandoned. Compared to other Southeast Asian cities, Kuala Lumpur is developing super tall skyscrapers considerably more quickly. In contrast to Singapore, where buildings are severely limited in height to under 290 meters due to the flight issue, which also affects Chinese and American cities. Kuala Lumpur has no such restrictions on construction height. No one has reached the summit yet in Jakarta, a metropolis in Southeast Asia with many active super tall buildings. Which building do you love the most? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Building the Future and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.